What's this, the boxing game? Oh my god, I totally have to play this. I'm gonna be Rocky. QTE title, of course, because I'm so good at the quick time events. Let's see, I might have to be quiet for this, or else I'll just be, be like an ultra maroon. Have some water. Okay, what do I have to do? Help! 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 Oh, I, I think this, I think. I think I've played this game before. Wasn't this like in the first one? Or else... Like I definitely have a memory of playing this. Not that this is like extremely difficult or anything, but I presume it gets faster the more you go along. Because it's already definitely like faster than it was at the start. No! See? That's what happens. Oh my god, I nearly beat the high score! I still have a life left though, don't I? Oh my god, this is crazy. really is crazy oh my god and like the, the way like the camera keeps moving around is like it's terrifying he just almost punched me in the face oh my god I'm, I, I have to be smoking the high score at this stage I wish I could tell you about my strategy but it's too complicated oh my god <laughs> it just keeps going oh my god stop I want to stop make it stop <laughs> my god. Stop! <laughs> this reminds me of like this one time. Okay, now maybe if I start talking about garbage then I'll fail. But this reminds me of like this one time, like when I was at a party and I was drunk. And like well everyone was. Well I wasn't like really drunk, I was just kind of like merry, like it was I was kind of like silly drunk. Um but we were watching the television. <laughs> And this Bruno Mars music video came on the television. No! This Bruno Mars music video came on the television. Oh my god, my high score's gone crazy. I'm going ham. Um, this Bruno Mars music video came on the television. And like, we started taking pictures of like, me punch. I was like saying like, to this girl who was at the party, I was like, oh I hate Bruno Mars. Um, and she was like, oh, won't you punch him? <laughs> she was like, won't you beat him up if you hate him? I was like, Joe, what I think I will. So we started taking pictures of me, like, punching the music video Bruno Mars, of me, like, holding my fist up to Bruno Mars's face on the music video. <laughs> and me, like, punching him. What do I get for my high score? Just satisfaction, is it? I, th I, I definitely think that was in the original game as well, because I've definitely played something like that before. Space Harrier, that was in the original as well. What about this? This is like a Pong table. Hello. I'm looking for Beverly Hills Wharf. What about Beverly Hills Data? Beverly Hills Captain Jean-Luc Picard? No, you see, I've played that with the one with the Cyclops woolly mammoth. I played that one in the first game. And I've played that darts one as well. Can I use the Sapporo cigarette machine? Excite QTE 2? This seems new. I don't think I remember that from the first game. It's $5. What isn't $5? I need about three fifty. I'll have some mindless fun. Okay, what do I have to do now? Oh, did... This is just the same as the other one, it's just not as fun. <laughs> no, pfft. I can't do this the same because there's no, like, visual... I can't do this because there's no, like, visual correspondence the way there was with the boxing. I need to move my leg, my move, my... My move! 
My move is asleep. My leg is asleep. Can I get to? Can, I think I need a drink after all that boxing. The strategy that I was adopting was like that I have my left thumb on the X button and then like I wouldn't have to move that. Okay, what can I get? Oh my god, that's like Jack and Coke. You can actually get like cans that have like mixtures in them. I actually got like we got them for Electric Picnic last year and had a little party in the boot of the car. We had like Smirnoff Cosmopolitans, like they were like little cosmopolitan tins of like how how classy little tins of cosmopolitan. Um, but yeah, my my strategy was that I just keep my le like left thumb stationary over the X button, and then use my right thumb to cover B and A, which means that it wasn't actually that difficult to be honest like I probably could have been could have kept going if I hadn't started talking about me punching Bruno Mars I've totally got to put that video up that that picture up of me punching Bruno Mars I'm just gonna get a capsule yeah what a like I like I, I it's been so long since I've actually had money I really feel like just like enjoying the fact that I have money again <laughs> Oh my god, it's Sonic! Oh no, it's not, it's Knight. <laughs> I, all I saw was like the- I only saw like one of her little head things. Yeah, I'll have another one. Um, I only saw one of the little head things and thought it was Sonic. Okay, what's this gonna be? What? A B button? Just what I always wanted! Yeah, I'll get another one. Why not? How much money do I have? Oh my god, is this all my money? <laughs> I'm poor again. <laughs> Another B button. Again. No, I have no money. I have no money. Is that like a street fighter? Is that a street fighter to a virtual? I presume it's virtual fighter to. Ooh, there's an upstairs. What's upstairs? The slot house. Oh, do you remember the slot house from like the first game? Do you remember that? I could like, could, can you actually play the slots in this one? Oh my god, play 5 to 25 points, so you can bet. Because I don't think I ever did that in the first game, so that's something I might be able to try out in like... When I have money again, when I don't spend all my money on worthless garbage and children's games. <laughs> but yeah. And then the other... The, the other... <laughs> the other... <laughs> I actually I never told that part of the story while well, you watch me get foiled by this automatic door the other part of that story is that the girl that, that I was being drunk with she was like <laughs> pushing her foot up to the television like she was kicking him in the face and she was like eat it, eat it. <laughs> and we were just laughing like fools it was just so funny <laughs> it's definitely one of the best memories one of my best, like, favorite, most recent memories. It was so funny. Like, me punching Bruno Mars and her, like, sticking her foot up at the television, being like, Eat it! Eat it! <laughs> it was just so good. What is this? What? Les you Les... what? Les... lesbi what? I have no idea. I would go in and find out, but it's not open. I presume it's a jewelry shop if they all have all those fake necks up there. What's sick? Oh, that's like a jazz bar. Let's explore here. Oh, it's a pool hall, so maybe I can play pool again. The golden quarter seems to just be like where all the other games from the first g little games from the first game go to die, apparently. Well, let's talk to Barkeep, because Barkeep always knows things. Hello, Barkeep. He's not bad. Well, I know how to get to Aberdeen. Thanks, Simba. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to get to Aberdeen to before I start asking questions here. But let's see, is there actually a pool table? 
presume it's in here. There isn't any pool table. What a jip! So I guess it's time to do some more recon. I must say, like, I really loved the... I, I must say I kind of prefer... Julik regarding that other video where we had, like, the quick time event gauntlet or whatever. Um, to... Where he had the quick time event gauntlet where the sod mother appeared. I must say, I do kind of prefer the quick time events to the actual combat. And that's for a couple of reasons. First of all, oh my god, look at these two twin sisters here. It's like T Tia and Tamara, the two of them. Um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, I can't do the actual combat for shit. So that's one legitimate reason. Second of all, as I was saying, I think quick time events, when used properly, as I was saying the last time, they can like lend a lot of theatricality um, and dynamic like a lot of like and a real kind of dynamic nature to scenes where otherwise you wouldn't feel like you're involved because you don't because if they just show that in a cutscene you don't feel like you're involved in it look everywhere is closing up they have like the shutters all half down which is a really cool effect i must say hermit fortune tellers i don't have any money to get my fortune told i just have to go get some more money the next time this is what i get for working all that overtime OVERTIME?! Night of the third day, 12 hours remaining. Anshu Soba, Soba Noodles, Yamato Siushi. I actually went for, well let's go to Aberdeen, seeing as that's where I'm supposed to be. Well, I actually went for sushi before we went to Fleet Foxes, I, like the friend of mine and I were the friend of mine I was going to to the South Carmaine Quarter with, the friend of mine I was going to um, Fleet Foxes with, and I, we went for sushi before going to Fleet Fox, and it was so good. Oh my god. But the thing is with sushi is, like, it's, like, so delicious. Like, it's so tasty and delicious. But it's really like deceptively filling, like you can't eat as much of it as you would like to. Like when you see it, you see like all these small little bits and small little pieces and they're so pretty and they just look so tasty. But then like as soon as you start eating you realise, oh my god I cannot actually eat all of this because there's just so much of it. Okay what way am I going? I think I have to go through like the Harry Mason place. To get to, to get back to where I want to go. Um, is this like the wise men's quarter? So what I'm looking for is to go back to, to Aberdeen. No, that's the White Dynasty quarter, which hasn't really come into play yet. The White Dynasty quarter hasn't been being much used for anything really, has it? Compared to everywhere else in this game. Well, look, let's go to the Harry Mason place again. I think I was actually on the right track when I was going the other way. When I was going this way. Because this is down to where those monks are, and there's like a good way I can go directly to Aberdeen from here. Um, But yeah, and then, but then you see, I think it is, what it is is that the rice is so compact because of the way it's rolled and the way it's made and everything. And, and the way that it's so, like, dense because the grains are so compact or whatever that actually there's probably about like twice as much rice as you think there is and the rice kind of fills you up I think that's probably what happens okay am I going the right way here is this the way I want to go to go to see I think this is the way to go to go to Queen's Doritos but oh my god it was so good I just got like a nigiri selection like with eight different pieces or whatever um, that were eight different kinds and they were just all so good. Um, but the thing is we can actually get sushi at work as well. I think that's what kind of almost turns me off like going out for sushi is the fact that we you can get sushi at work every day like we actually have a sushi chef in the canteen at work who makes it fresh every day 
and makes it really well. Like, it's so good. It's as good as anything you'll get in a restaurant. But because it's at work, it's a way cheaper than you would pay it at a restaurant normally. 